Hi everybody, this is Tom here. Um, this is my 318 IS and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, the radiator cooling fan, the main fan. Now this car is a 92 E36 coupe, so it's the first of them and it used to have a um, clutch fan. You see the clutch fans though after a while like you think they wear out and they don't cool so good. Um, you come up to built up traffic and you know you notice the heat going up. Anyway I got sick of that so I did a bit of hunting around and I looked for some alternatives. Now there were quite a few options but what I found for the best option for me was um, buying a six cylinder E36 fan it's off the 328 and it's a big one um, it has two speeds it has a low speed and a high speed of course um, so with this car I could only choose one speed so I chose the high speed um, the reason was is because I didn't really have the means to set up a temperature sensor in the radiator because over here where the temperature sensor would screw in it's just blanked so I couldn't do that on my car um, and I could have bought an aftermarket thing to cut um, to go between the radiator hose it would be the top hose sorry um, and then I could have screwed the sensor into that but start running into quite a bit of expense with all of that and everything so I just wanted to keep it fairly simple so what I did is I bought this um, fairly reasonably priced adjustable temperature um, sensing I don't know what it's called it I think I'm trying to remember what it was called um, it was a thermostat fan Sorry, actually I can't remember the full name, but I believe it was a thermostat, uh, adjustable thermostat fan controller, that's what it was called. So, that was the full name, I knew it was a bit of a mouthful. Um, and what it has is, your power goes through to a relay, and that's for um, setting off the relay which activates the main power to the fan and how it gets a temperature reading of your water in your radiator, or your antifreeze, sorry, in your radiator is this wire here goes through and into the radiator hose and in there is a long stainless steel prong and that was really easy to set up and then once I put the fan in I just simply turned around and wired up to the thickest wire knowing that that's the highest amperage wire which means it's the high speed wire and I ran that through to the relay um, which is as you can see I ran it through here and mastered all up as I well not mastered all up taped it all up as I went to make it look fairly stock and here's the relay and this here is the thick power wire to the fan which goes into the relay down there, you can't quite see it and then just beneath it is the main power wire going to the battery which in here is my fuse um, and it's a 30 amp fuse I did put a 20 amp fuse in, but it blew the 20 amp fuse straight away. So anyway, I set all of this up, and the other thing that I didn't account for though, when I bought the fan, um, the 318 IS radiators are smaller than the 328 radiators, which makes sense, which I should have thought of, um, because they're only for the four cylinder so 
the free 28 fan overhung the 318 IS radiator quite a bit. So what I did to get around this problem is I cut out a wooden, I guess you'd call shield or blank, to go into the fan and shield it from stones and everything underneath the car. It worked really well, screwed it all into the fan and used a bit of no-all nails as well just to screw it and glue it in and just drilled some holes in it to let any water drain out and um, painted it black so you barely even noticed underneath there and I used a hardwood so it's not really going to be inclined to rotting or anything um, that's just what I had lying around but you could use plastic that would be probably even better um, but that's what I had so that's what I used um, and it did a nice job of it and I wasn't really too worried because you can't see it anyway um, so that was um, about a day's work to set up and probably cost me with the fan and this um, adjustable thermostat for the fan and also the relay and the wiring it probably cost me still under 200 I would say um, and what I did is once I got the fan at a good temperature um, for kicking in I just used a hot glue gun and glued around the adjusting knob so nobody could fiddle around with it and move it because human tendency is as soon as they see a knob they're inclined to start adjusting it so I don't really want that um, the other thing I did just for purely looks is I got the old shroud off the fan and used my bandsaw and cut it up and made a sort of guard to protect you from belts and all that and also a cover to cover up the um, electric fan so it's far harder to actually put your hands in there while it's running um, so it's a safety guard and it looks good um, and I just used my bandsaw to make that that was quite simple to do so if you got a bandsaw and the original shroud that's one thing you can do too and the E36 um, 328 electric fan for the radiator has two bolt holes and you just bolt the shroud onto that you have to drill some holes as well but it took me under a day to make all of this so there you go I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much if you have any questions please ask